Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about why did Jesus die on the cross? Cross that's Jesus Christ. Why did he die on the cross? So the reason being is that if you go back from, I, I will. You'll get the answer in this video definitely, but let me just go back from the beginning. Cause when when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, it was it was it was it, what what it was is that they they had the authority that Adam and Eve they had the authority of the world. They, they first had it and obviously we know that the devil the devil the, the devil the devil stole it from Adam and Eve but the difference between the devil and Adam and Eve is that you know Adam and Eve are alive the devil is dead now you can look in Genesis at the beginning when God created man and e man and man and man and woman but take take note of that one adam and eve is alive and the the devil the devil is 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 the devil and he he is dead he has got no soul no soul to no soul he's a what do they what what do they i think the the christians and preachers will call will call him a, dis a disembodied spirit so take note of that one so if you move for f fast forward to which the scripture I'm going to is Genesis 17 Genesis 17 verse 5 I'll read it here it says and I'm reading in the New King James Version it says no longer shall your name be called Abra Abram, comma, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you, made you a, a father of many nations. V6, I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you in their generations for an ev for an ev everlasting covenant to be God to you and your descendants after you. V8. Also, I give give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are which you are stranger, comma, all the land of, of Canaan, comma, as an everlasting possession, inverted comma, and I will be fit, and I will, and I will be, sorry, and I will be their God. So look, if you, re, if, so there, there are two parts I want to mention here, where it says, where it says in V7 in the Gen Genesis and it says and I will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you in their generation in generations for an everlasting covenant everlasting basically is basic is, is a I would have thought a basic meaning of It will just keep going. It won't. It won't stop. That's how I how I interpret it as. But let me see something. Everlasting basically means lasting forever or a very long time. But in the Bible's case, it's basically up until now. In this up up until now and will forever will forever be there. Because what, so, so, and this is where 
and as you as as some some viewers might not know this is this is this is where when this is before Jesus 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 was born not just that this is where this is this is before Islam is birthed as well if you want to research that have a look on have a, have a look research research it by 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 the by online by by online but not by but but not by how not by how not by how the the how is islam represents it because they they have it in a different way they have it the opposite way so he goes on to say this is also i give you this is for you land which i should he, yeah he, so let me read this bit again where it, say, it says so forever for an everlasting covenant to be god so let me start from the seven so i'll start from seven it says verse seven and i will establish my covenant between me and you and your descendants after you in their gener generations for an ever everlasting covenant to be god to you and your descendants after you take note of this one verse verse no sorry um verse 8 it says also i will give to you give to you and your descendants after you the land in which you are so this is the this is the bit also give to you and your descendants after you the land in in which you are a, a stranger or all, all the land or the land of all the land of Canaan as an everlasting possession to me I, I know uh, when it says land to be to be strangers I I understand that as as I understand that as as Israel and because it also says as an everlasting possession and it then it and it goes on a little bit. It says, "And I will be there, and I will be their God." So, take note of those, those two things. That the everlasting, uh, it, the bit where it says, "After you, the land in which you are stranger, which you are a stranger, which is Israel." And this one as well. It says, "And I will be an V seven Genesis verse seven. It says, "And I will be, and I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your descendants after you, in their generations for an everlasting covenant." That's that's through Jesus, but that's 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 after abraham passes away dies so so if you if you go fast forward now if you go if i fast forward now and because i want to there was something i was going to talk to you about the devil I was going to talk to you about Satan and the devil, which is which they're both the same. I think as far, I think someone could probably interpret that and interpret that interpret that in a different way. Yeah, and like I said before, take note, take note is take note of what I've just said, and also take note of what I've said about Adam and Eve and the devil. One's dead, one's alive. The devil, the devil is spiritually dead. Adam and Eve are spiritually alive. So, so I'll go fast. I'll fast forward to. I've, yeah, sorry. Take note of this one as well. There's a part in the Bible where, it's in. It's when when God, God, God. It's it's in Exodus where God, 
where God says about where, where, where God speaks about the, the the Ten Commandments, and somewhere near there, it say, it's it says about how it says about you should you should not eat the the uh, uh, you know you should not drink human blood or any kind of animal or any kind of animal or creature or insect insects blood or any kind of or any or any animal blood or you could say human blood but that's that we all know not to eat not to drink human blood he said because the because god god actually said you know you shouldn't drink human you should not you should not drink animal blood because it's their life it's 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 their life blood if you have a look on the search engine and 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 write write down what does the bible say about life blood or animal blood you'll find it in i think it's in exodus somewhere so the the take note of, so take note of that one where it says it where it says i'm gonna hang on a minute so i got that that scripture exodus completely wrong so and i read the read i'm reading out the one that i want you want you to look up what we what i would like you to look up when you're free if you if you want and I read out the scripture that I found where it talks about the lifeblood, but also I'm also giving out the hint and the clue of what I'm trying to explain that towards the end, because you see it's it's probably it's going to be in the scripture as well. So, and I and I have heard preachers preaching about pre preaching about it as well, but I they, I don't think they're explaining it on how I'm ex on on how I'm about to explain it. So what it is is that it is. Let me try and change it a little bit. The um the the the, the book. One moment to New King So this is in the New King New King James New King James Version. So Leviticus, which is spelled L E V L E V I T I C U S which is 17 verse 11 it says v11 for the life of the of the flesh is in the blood comma and i have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for for your souls inverted comma for it is it for it is a for it is a blood that makes atonement for the for the soul you have to look at the word atonement. I think. Uh, let me try and look it into a different in a different translation. So that so so that it will explain. So it will explain. Explain atonement. If I change it to a new international version. It says it says the same thing actually. Let me just do something else. I'm trying to explain explain atonement. So the the word atonement, which is spelled A T O N E M E N T, atonement is it, it means the action of making amends for for a wrong or injury. Basically, to miss the mark, like the like it's to pay for sin. It, it also says below in bullet point in religious uh, context, re, repair, rep, reparation or or expiration ex, expiration or ex, expiration expiration for sin, e x p i a t i o n. So. So that's the last scripture that I'm re I've read out. So. If you fast forward to, and I'm gonna make out some points, which is made by another, which is made by another preacher that I've heard that I heard preach this as well. So we fast forward to Jesus, Jesus's death on the on the on the cross. So what it is when 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 
when when Jesus crucified with the net with the with the thorns around his head which is which is a an imprint or which is a, a an imp, which is a which is a which is a which is an area where where the devil where the devil tries tries to take control of he tries the devil tries to take control of every human mind by giving them thoughts and speaking through their emotions and the hands the nail pierced hands is 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 your active work what you what you what, what you feed yourself with and what you you use you use to get around the world that's where and and the, the feet which is which is also nail pierced as well both both of Jesus' feet were nail pierced all of these things that are nailed and, and, and damaged they're the parts of the body that, all, uh, that always gets attacked or normally gets attacked because if you look at the majority of disabled disabled people it's either either they suffer for, either they either either they suffer from mental illness or some sort of mind problem you know you got people saying oh I, I, you've lost your mind or when if, when people say you've lost you've lost your mind it means that you you're mad so they and you've got the hands some people are disabled have disability in their hands so that you got the disability in the head, disability in the hands, and you got disability in the feet. Some people can't walk. They're the two. They're the areas that the devil tries to attack, and try to stop people from. Try to stop people from, from progressing in life, because you don't see anyone, you don't see anyone being 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 attacked or, or being disabled, purely around around their waist. If they are, if they are attack, if they are, if they are, if they are disabled around the waist, that means that their legs won't work. You you don't see you don't see a consistent, cons, uh, uh, you don't see an area in the body, uh, in in their waist where it's where it's physically the only spot in the waist in in your waist that is that is attacked and can't work. And then so so let's say for example, you don't see it. You don't see their their waist not working, but then you you got their their legs working and everywhere everywhere else is working legs legs and thigh and foot is working. It's always those specific targeted areas where Jesus Jesus was was a, was 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 scarred. <clears throat> so, but that that's what I wanna that's what I wanted to explain, which I've heard someone preach before. But with that, so the bit, the bit I want, the point I want to get to is this. So yeah, this is the point I want to get to. When, when, when Jesus, when, when Jesus died and he, and he, and he, and he lied, he lied on the, he, he was on the cross. When he, when he was on the when he was on the, when he was on the, on the cross and he said it, it's finished this is it's finished shouted out to God it is finished it's obviously we all know, most Christians know or all Christians know that everything every sin is every sin that, that the world can offer every sin that the world every sin that the world can offer is is was was finished on the cross when Jesus died but the the real core core part I want to get to is this part now check this bit so what it is is that when 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 because because Jesus was a man and and I mean even if it was a woman it would be the it would be the it would be the same thing but because Jesus was a man and he was alive he was living. He was one one hundred percent human, one hundred percent God. But it's not really the God bit I want to get. I want to get to. It's not really no. It wasn't the fact that he was God that I want to get to, because he was one hundred percent God, and one hundred percent man. But the bit I want to get to is that he was one hundred percent human being. He had a he had a soul. That's two parts. So did Adam and Eve. He had. Jesus had a, had flesh. 
and he was in, in he was in he was without blemish because the lambs that that were sacrificed in the old testament god said find me lamb without blemish or spot or wrinkle without spot or wrinkle so obviously i would have thought jesus would would be without blemish now because jesus jesus was all all of these things because and and the, and the main part i was want to get to as well because everyone every christian prays and always prays for things that, that that to come to life or praise praise seed into their pray life in, pray pray or speak life into their situation but because 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 jesus was had blood running through his veins and body it's because it's because it's because his body was 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 was, was his blood was his blood was It was it, okay. It's because his his blood was 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 one hundred percent human as well, human as well, and it was the spirit behind it, and and I and I am going to bring this in as well, and it's because and it's because it's because he is he he is God one hundred percent God. The mere fact that it's a spiritual, it's a it's a it was it wasn't just a physical thing. It was also a physical transaction. Not a transaction, yeah, yeah, a physical transaction, a physical purchase, a, a redeem, a redeem, a buyback. Redeem means buyback, because and because, because the the devil, the devil had the keys, the keys to authority. In in he had the keys to authority, and he and because he stole the keys to authority, from from Adam and Eve. Because he's done that, stole it from him, Adam and Eve, and and the devil, the, the devil is dead. This is why, when when because Jesus died, he he died. He, he met he met, he, he spiritually, he, he became he became he became he became just for a little while as dead as as, as dead as as dead as the devil. And so, with that, because he was also God as well, because he was human, and all those four four things, he was able to to steal back and purchase back spiritually, not just spiritually, but physically as well in the physical realm, in the world, and also spiritually, he was able to take back what was rightfully originally ours, and what was what was originally meant to be for Adam and Eve. He stole it back from the devil, and because because and also because he's because jesus jesus was without sin and because because of those things and that all that combination and with that you know it was a, it was a it was a massive it was a massive blow to the devil it wasn't just it wasn't just it wasn't just physically it was also spiritually it was a massive blow and a shock and a shock to the devil's core and not just that it's also it's also marked the devil spiritually to say that you know you can never take control of man you can never take control never can take control of man again and not just that the death on the cross also mark marked the world of what's to come in the future of 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 what's what of what's to come into the future of the world as well so the since that day, since the de the death on the cross, the Jesus' death on the cross, there there was a time there was a time specifically set on the devil of 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 his end times. So that's that's what I want that's what I wanted to explain. If you if you didn't believe if you don't believe if you if you, sorry if you was wondering why Jesus had to die on the cross. And I hope you you guys and gals have understood that. So that's really all I have to say in this video. So let me just pray before I before I leave. So Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy that you put upon us from past, present, and future. Pray, heal us right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Bodies be 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 healed right now in Jesus' name. Pray, restore us, O oh God, restore us right now in Jesus' name. And for those that are listening, restore their bodies right now in Jesus' name, O oh God.
pray pray for bodies and joints to be grown back in Jesus name pray grace and mercy be that you pray grace and mercy be upon us father from past present and future pray restore us father restore our marriages and situations and circumstances father in Jesus name we pray amen God bless you all. Bye for now.